hey everybody how's everybody doing today i hope everybody had a fabulous day uh chantal apparently had two lives last night i know it's hard with the time difference in bangkok she usually goes live when i'm asleep so i don't catch them and then when i do have a chance to go over the lives it's usually the same bs she talks about i mean reliving the same things um talking about nader talking about food it's the same thing over and over so that's why like i keep saying i don't like to react to her lives uh, most of the time but as i was kind of skimming through this live she kind of said some things that caught my attention so i just want to react to that part i'm probably about an hour into this live which live is this this is hanging at the hotel so I probably pushed forward about an hour into this. So let's go. Yes, noodles. It's like a haunted, it's a, like a haunt, but I know, right, Gabrielle? Imagine death by food cart. <laughs> it's not an escape room, no. It's like a haunt. Like, it's like... There's different rooms. And by the way, she looks extremely bloated. She looks unwell. She doesn't, I mean, the the yeast, I guess you could say, growing on her face from the CPAP machine is extra red today. And I believe she has partaken in the edibles, so she's partially baked. I don't know. It seems like it to me. Like, representing different movies and... <clears throat> okay for the people commenting there's so many endless things to do i would love to do this that's that's you i'm like a total i'm not like i'm not that kind of person <laughs> like then why no, go i'm not i don't understand i prefer to just like have more relaxed days than not <laughs> i don't understand why go to an exotic location or why even take a trip anywhere if you're not going to experience the country itself as far as you know the land you know the the architecture things like that or even the culture itself why even why what's the point what's the point isn't that your dream Chantal to have some type of travel vlog isn't that what you said you wanted to do to have your little your little peen on the side penis husband whatever fake husband and do these type of vlogs so what are you doing in the hotel you're supposed to be out enjoying the culture exploring the culture showing us the culture what's the point of your channel then i don't know i don't find it fun like suffocating in the heat and sweating i don't find that fun right now anyways it's more getting on my nerves more than ever i don't know why so yeah My vacation i'm gonna sleep and not do anything but chill yes exactly but chantal for somebody to say that that's somebody that actually has a job so for them to go on vacation and just sleep and chill would be a normal thing for somebody to do that you know actually works you know five to seven days a week you know take your pick you don't have an actual job you literally do nothing all day so no not for you no sleep for you it can be intimidating going out alone here. It's very busy. And like I said, the transportation can be chaotic, especially if you're like, it depends where you're getting picked <laughs> up. Sometimes they like, like, I don't know. It's just, you know, you, they wanted to hike all day. You're, you, yeah, exactly. I don't like hiking at all. I don't think even, I don't know, maybe I would someday, but I don't <laughs> think so. I love I really hiking. don't. Even when I wasn't, like, obese, I was, you know, still, Wait, I was young, a lot younger. When you weren't obese, I think, when was the last time you were probably, I mean, you could call it a normal size. Those pictures um, of you out at the club with your friends, I think it's probably during the time when you met BB. That was probably the most normal size you were. And what size was that? Maybe, like, a size 14 to 16? I don't think you've actually ever been, like, a size 7, so you've probably always been Remember, obese i still didn't enjoy like pe like physical education i didn't like sports i didn't like doing i thought you were in gymnastics like, really physical things that much 
I force myself to do them, but when I, you know, but I don't like it. I don't know if I'm like an introvert or I don't, I don't know, but I like calm and peaceful in a cold room, being comfortable. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like you might like a morgue. You don't need to go, you don't need to be vacationing from escaping to go on vacation. Not everyone escapes. I think majority of people Were you of one of those people do. who walked the mile because I did? The mile? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly, RoboKiss. You know what I mean? He didn't let me down. Rachel, shut up. <laughs> Uh-oh, trigger. It's not his fault. Trigger pulled. I just don't like to go out every single day and like go into busy traffic. So trigger pulled, bitch mode initiated. And stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe next time we come here, we'll definitely go to like a more calm place. I don't know. I like hotel beezing, so it doesn't matter. Boring. You know, you don't have to do like anything, anything like you would have to do at home. You don't Excuse have me. to clean. You don't have if you're going to hotel bees, I mean, I don't think I've ever stayed in a hotel except for maybe one time um, with my son. Wouldn't I, I believe it was in New Mexico or Arizona. I cannot remember where it was like a creepy hotel. But other than that, every hotel I've ever stayed in always has like room service and things like that. Why would you stay in a hotel that doesn't have, you know, those type of amenities, Chantal. I know, because you're broke. You know. Um, foundations, you can just go look at my videos. Everything is there. It's so hard for your husband to travel. No, it's nothing to do with that. Yes, it is. Hi, Teardrop! Everyone can Google it. Syrians, they put the kibosh on the travel for them. What's going on? <sighs> well, that's a part, big part of it, Passion Tim. Yeah, I don't think that, like, do you want an award for coming up with that? Like, that's obvious. Wow. No offense, but. Bitch, you should take Salah to Canada. I really don't feel like going to Canada right now. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> At all. You know what? I wonder if she knows, like, she's playing the game. She knows that Salah the Glitter Tits man with the birthing hips was catfishing her in order to get papers to go to Canada. And what she does is basically pull it run a game on him where she becomes a human anchor where she doesn't want to leave and she's basically holding Canada like over his head so that he doesn't leave her do you think the only reason why he might even be staying with her and embarrassing his family the family name everything is in order to get the papers that she continues to hold over his head and then she continues to eat and decrease her mobility on purpose so that he can't force her to leave. I mean, I don't know. It seems like she's sick and twisted and would do some crap like that. <clears throat> hey, plain cheeseburger. Shitty day today. You're having one? I'm having one too. No. Yeah, someday it will happen. Your mama, maybe? I don't know. He definitely has to visit, but... I know it's, like, weird. People just think that we just want to live in Canada. Like, it's not even the case. Maybe he does. Do you know... I don't understand. Why do you hate Canada so much? It's a beautiful country. Has beautiful people. Just so many cultures are intermixed in Canada. It seems like a great place to live. I don't know why you shit on Canada so much. 
You know what? Maybe they don't want you, Chantal. Did you ever think about that? They're with my son and Lady Gaga. Nice, Nanny Love. Yeah, I knew Lady Gaga. What do you mean you knew Lady I'm Gaga? Okay, most Personally? Tomorrow. Wait. Does she, did she ever say that she knows Lady Gaga personally? I don't remember that. Is that true? Or am I tripping? <sighs> no, Cynthia. Like, why should I do what you want me to do? I don't feel like living in Canada. We don't want to live in Canada. That's all. Hmm. Plain and simple, regardless of the health care. I've had really good, um, I've had health care in Kuwait. Didn't even cost that much. Lies. That's your papa, not your mama. Are they different peeps? Oh, is there, what? No, I'm not scared to go with Salah to Canada. Obviously you are. Oh, it's Something's your papa. Up. So my one never went Well, him do. What can I say? I'm only gonna go. Look, how long are we into this? It's about an hour into this. I'm. I'm not gonna do. There's probably a, an hour and a half left of this. I'm not gonna react to the whole thing because, like I said, it's her lives are repetitive and like I don't find them fascinating. I don't find them interesting. She just literally talks about bull crap so i'm just gonna go to a certain point in this and then i'm gonna end it i'm free to do what i want so like why are you lumping all arab men together most traditional arab men would never marry a fucking western woman that's so not true your point is your point is irrelevant <laughs> he knew what he was marrying sorry No, nothing. There are plenty of Arab men that would marry Western women, Chantal. I, what are you talking about? It's bothering me at all. That's the thing. I think what's bothering me is people asking me constantly, what's wrong, what's wrong, when there's nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. What she doesn't like, what she doesn't like and what she's getting irritated at right now are people um, basically putting her on front street and asking her legitimate questions that she doesn't want to answer. So she gets triggered and then here we go with all the blocking and, and, and the snarkiness and all of this crap. This is the typical M.O. for Chantal. Yeah, he's not a traditional Arab male. Like, in some ways, yes. It doesn't mean he has to be all or nothing. Some people, you know, like... I think so. so. stupid how people think on here. That's what's annoying. I believe... You know what? Actually, when you're living within a country and a culture like that, um, pertaining to their laws and things like that, yeah, I believe you have to be all or nothing. It doesn't make any sense to come on here and proclaim you know, this part of this law or rules or whatever, according to, you know, Islamic rule or country rule or whatever, and then don't do it. Like, oh, it's okay. Uh, I, I'm not perfect or whatever. No, you either live that way or you don't. No, I don't seem down. <laughs> like, I'm fine. I was fine before people started asking me what's wrong, what's wrong, wrong, you know, it's like, what? Where do you get that from? Your Just face. chilling out. Julia's not traditional. Yeah, I'm just going to block annoying people, honestly. Here we go. Yes, he can vacation to Canada. No, he can't. He needs a visa, obviously. It's not a, a secret that he's from Syria. And I don't know the exact he reason. I know it was like during the war that broke out... Um, when you know there was a lot of refugees and i know that canada took in a certain amount of refugees from syria um i forgot what other countries did as well but they did put a blockade on people especially single males 
coming to the into the, uh, multiple countries, not just Canada, you know, with Syrian lineage, they, they they don't allow it. And especially right now, somebody had posted um, in Kuwait, they literally have a freeze on anyone with a Syrian passport that they're not allowed to leave. The only reason I believe that they are allowed to leave is for educational purposes. But yeah, she's like, I mean, I, I don't understand why she comes on here and lies about this stuff when it's easily um it's easy for people to look it up on google on in, in news articles plenty of life people don't get that not everyone thinks the same as them that's exactly the problem nervous writer and i just i can't stand people like that yeah i'll do what i want serenity so if you don't like it just go whatever i'll do what i want People just, like, yeah, I'm just chill. Like, I'm just chill. I don't like, like, annoying, like, childish people when I'm, like, not in the right mood. So that's <laughs> why I get annoyed. When you're not in the right mood. The Bath and Body Works here never. It's so expensive. So expensive. Uh, How is it expensive? You were ready to shop there the other day until the lady said you couldn't film. And then all of a sudden you carried out and didn't want to shop there anymore because you couldn't film. Now it's expensive. Which one is it? I know I hate I, Stephanie Reyes. That's exactly it. I hate when people are constantly asking me, are you okay? What's wrong? Like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, I mean, literally, we can look at your face right here. You don't look okay at all. You look like you're pissed. You look like you've been crying. Your ed edema is going full throttle. You look horrible, Chantal. I don't know, Krista. People are saying that because they're twisting what I said. Uh oh, here we I go. I said, worst case scenario is he doesn't come. So what? So what? I go on a vacation by myself. The reason why I'm here is no one's business. I've told you many times. I'm not telling you wow. the whole reasoning behind everything we do. Um, sometimes okay. That sounds suspect to me. The whole reasoning behind everything we do. I don't know. That seems criminal to me in some type of way. Like there's some illegal activity going on they're just private and that's it like that's you know i'm not discussing it whatsoever i'm here that's all you need to know why many reasons like why can't somebody just go take a trip you know i don't know it's <laughs> the way she said that it screams illegal activity to me i hope to god chantal that he did not trick you into being a mule that's what it seems like to me. Broke down palace. You're going to be a mule. Chantal. It's going to be lit. Yeah. I guess, but. And also, you know what else I kind I find extremely odd is that when she's in Kuwait, and slog, uh, slog litter tits isn't, you know, in the lives, obviously. But then all of a sudden he comes in in the live stream and the, in the chat thread. While she's been in Bangkok, he is like sporadically there. Not even like he, he like when she's in Kuwait, it seems different. Like he's not there as much. And people ask her about it. And she's always using the excuse. Oh, he's asleep. W when has he ever slept this much? I don't recall him ever sleeping this much, Chantal. It seems suspect as fuck. Who cares, Cynthia, if it wasn't? Like, what's your point? Ugh, goodbye. You're annoying. <laughs> I get so annoyed with certain people. The food needs to get there ASAP. I'll go out and do things when I want to do things. Like, which means never. <laughs> yeah, Krista, you know, Tammy, I'll be fine. Like, it, it more than likely, like, I'm just saying, like, a hundred percent, nothing is certain, right? Like, I don't think he's coming, and I think. 
the way she looks today, it seems like she like got the news that he's not coming at all. And that's why she looks the way she does. And when people ask her about it, it's like a trigger for her because she knows the reality of it and she doesn't want to admit it. I think a lot of people would have a little bit more respect for you, Chantal, if you just came right out and said what's going on. I mean, we can clearly see what's going on. Just admit it. I mean, you're making a fool of yourself coming on here, behaving in this manner like a 12 year old having a tantrum because people are calling you out on your shit. You look stupid. Mm. I know. Yeah, the name of the shops are funny. Yeah, Drive, he's sleeping. He's human. He has to sleep eight hours sure. a day. Since when? Like. Now, how does that make any sense when she was doing her lives in Kuwait? It was like one, two, three o'clock in the morning and he was up playing the Casio keyboard from CVS concert that burned all of our ears. Now, all of a sudden, he's sleeping. He needs eight hours of sleep. I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. Something doesn't smell right to me. And she knows it. She doesn't want to admit it. Maybe she got dumped. It's okay, Wrinkly Runner. Yeah, I've already done things. Like, whatever. I've only been here, like, a week. Not like Maybe his week. family did an intervention. And they came in there, you know, busted into the apartment. Said, you have to go now. We don't want you here anymore. Took Salah and booted her out. And the only way that she could escape is using those tickets to Bangkok. I don't know. Let's, I, I'm curious to see at the end of this escapade if she actually ends up back in Kuwait. I don't know. We'll see. Hi, Tanya. I'm not going on hikes. I'm not, probably not going to walk around the streets a lot, honestly. So, Why? whatever. I don't care. That's the best part of Bangkok. If I do things, it'll probably be like just cabbing it somewhere. Boring. And then checking it out. Maybe do a vlog. Hey, Brie Mac. How many vlogs has she done? I gotta look. I don't know. Not that many. The it's lives are just... I don't like the lives. They're just lazy to me, especially, you know, because she screams, you're stealing my content. I, I don't really consider lives content. It's just bullshit to me. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Why would you dream of a vacation without your husband if you love him? What does that even mean? Like exactly, that's I so agree. stupid. No, it's not. I don't know what to tell you. Not everyone exactly like the person said before. Not everyone thinks like you. Well, the 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 thing that kind of bothers people, I think, Chantal, is that you know you proclaim that you you know you you cannot really go anywhere. You always have to have a man with you, and blah 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 because of you know islam and you want to follow these rules you know your husband blah 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 for you to literally go to bangkok by yourself without your husband for a month seems a little bit odd i mean not even like i don't even think it's odd to you know just a normal married islamic couple i think it's just odd to any type of couple in general it's i, I this is not normal for a loving husband to ship off their wife to Bangkok, especially uh, in your health condition, Chantal. I don't know. It seems kind of suspect. Like, keep imagining. Please. We will. I don't care what people do on vacation. Unless it's a crime. It's yeah, called it being an adult. Exactly. Sure. Yeah, true, Joanna. And and I'm going to say this too. I don't think, I don't believe he loves you at all because if he did, Chantal, there's no way that a husband would let you eat like that, especially if, if you've admitted to him that you have an alleged addiction or whatever your problem is. I don't know because you're not really properly diagnosed. There's no way that a loving husband would continuously feed you in that manner and continuously buy you that unhealthy food in that manner if he truly loved you. He would stop that behavior or at least try to get you to help to stop that behavior. And he never has this entire time. 
he keeps feeding you, Chantal. Like I said, when you signed those paper papers that had Arabic writing and you couldn't read any of it, are you sure that you didn't sign it, uh, an insurance policy on yourself that he's the beneficiary of that insurance policy when you pass away, Chantal, you should probably try to find that out. Thank you. It's such a stupid comment. Like, uh, anyways, yeah. No, really, you're not. People are extra rude. People are extra rude. Where's my food? Oh, my sciatica. Oh, the sciatica made an appearance again. Yeah, Sorry. true, Robert. <laughs> Are you sure it's not your kidneys? You know, it actually might be her sciatica now that I'm thinking about it because um, it seems like she only sits for, what, 10, 20 minutes at the most in a sitting position in a chair. So I'm wondering because of her weight distribution on her leg where the sciatic nerve is and where her leg bends if she's not cutting off the circulation there and it's irritating the sciatic nerve that's a possibility and maybe an explanation as to why she likes laying down so much because it's probably more comfortable for her I need to take my meds and rub the cream on So yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm I'm not in a bad mood. I'm I'm fine. I'm just chilling out. Like I'm not super hyper, maybe that's why I don't know. She's in a bad mood a hundred percent. Remington, what we're getting at is why are you implying that we don't love each other just because we t like aren't always together twenty four seven? You have no idea why I'm sorry, my grandson is having a tantrum out in the hallway outside of my room. So if you hear some screaming, and then now my dog, if you hear this, just got into my bowl of salad that I had. Always a fun time in this household, I swear. There's always something going on. Anyways, back to this. I'm traveling, so you don't know anything about the situation, so why just jump right away to the negative? Oh, they must not love each other. I can't imagine doing that. They like, don't. Who cares? No one cares, Remington. Because that's the truth. I think every I think everybody actually cares because it's hard to watch somebody do this to themselves. Especially, I mean, I understand you know people hate Chantal and all of that kind of stuff, but watching all of this play out and considering, you know, when she left BB, she was living with uh, Pete's. You know, had her independent life, whatever life that was. I mean, that was good enough for her independent on her own, you know, doing what she did. And then once she met Nader, it's like she just spiraled out of control. I, I, I Like, it's fascinating to watch. It's sad to watch to especially to see a woman willingly just give up their independence and their life and all of this basically to prove to everybody on the internet that she can get a man because that's basically what this boils down to nothing else it's this isn't like for love like i love him i need to be with him and anything like that no it's to make nader jealous and it's to prove to all of us on the internet that she's worthy of male attention that's all this like she did all of that for this amazing yeah Exactly, Krista. Get a wheelchair, no way. The traffic, there, there is rules. I don't know how much they're enforced. And, and, the fact, and the fact that she did this at 40 years old. Now, I could see, you know, like, as a young girl, you know, if you have daddy issues and things like that, you might sleep around, you know, with men and things, you know, things like that you do, you know, as a teenager. Some girls, some boys, I don't know. But... For her to be out there in the world, living on her own, 
and then to do this at 40 is just bizarre to me. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't know. I keep searching I for the answer. Much. Yeah, I have some icy hot. Oh, she's annoyed. She's so annoyed with the person slamming the door. Wow. See that look, that death stare? What? Can you imagine? It's okay, so soon. She's that type, get off of my lawn. Yeah, No, I'm not going to change my ticket. It'll be way too much of a pain. So at least Salah is there with the pet. So it's not like, I mean, she loves him too. So Is he really though? I have not eaten. I don't feel like starving. It's weird. <laughs> I usually do. I don't think you know what it's that coming. feels like. It's coming. I'll see he's dried. It's a shame that people come in here just to put you in a bad mood. <laughs> no, I don't know. I think it's like just stupid comments or like annoying sometimes, you know? Hey, white night. I don't think people purposely come in here. I mean, some might. I'm going to be take that back. Some trolls might come in here just to like get a reaction. But I don't think people asking legitimate questions that they want to know, especially if they are paying subs for content and all of that stuff i think they have a right to ask these type of questions chantal they're not annoying questions this is why you lose so many subscribers and you've lost so many views because you do shit like this um i don't know the coffee i'd have to think about that no why would someone care for the pets if Salah's there exactly so why did you buy a gift for i'm somebody? not no, he's a pee, just shrimps. Just shrimp. I like scallops. I wonder if they have those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really blocking people <laughs> hilarious <laughs> I'm just blocking annoying people I know I can't wait to see her too no I'm not checking my blood sugar wow you know what I'm wondering like if, if she's doing that if she the, the way she just said that no I'm not checking my blood sugar I wonder if like she goes on camera and she's purposely eating all of this crap as some type of threat to sh to uh, glitter tits over there like look i'm not checking my blood sugar look i'm not taking my insulin and i'm eating all of this crap and i'm doing this and that whatever like and in order to control him or somebody else she is the type to do that to do some type of dangerous behavior because she does it to manipulate people. That's what it seems like to me, especially after she just said that, that she's not checking her blood sugar and the look on her face. Manipulation tactic 100%. My husband's been on a three-day clear diet for, for a test so we're going to pick out later. Sounds good, Robin. I miss Red Lobster. Didn't they close Red yes, Lobster? Yes, because if Salah comes to Thailand, then we will have somebody care for him. But if they don't, then no, but we'll still give them the gift. That makes no sense. Uh, but don't block me. That's what you think, Sierra. I'm sure yours is too, coming in here and commenting on someone you don't like. How is my life unfulfilling? I do whatever I want. I travel wherever I want, it whenever is I want. And I have 800 visas, so shut it. <laughs> your life is not fulfilling we can see that we see the look on your face Chantal stop playing just admit the truth the jig is up 
Yes. Um, I haven't seen any mosquitoes. Because you don't go outside. I know, right, Sophie? Love, why would you tell a Muslim to let their hair loose? Like, what? That's like so disrespectful. No, it's no not. Thanks, it's but... a saying. Le no, I just uh, think you cannot be possibly that dumb, but then again, you thought Rome was a country. To let your hair hang down or let your hair be loose is a saying to like just be, relax and be free, Chantal. Are you that dumb? And sorry for the um the pop-ups for YouTube. I don't know why YouTube has a problem with like getting notifications. If somebody posts something up on their channel, I don't get it till like two, three hours later. It's so weird. Every Muslim would disagree. We don't let our hair loose. <laughs> Go break a leg, like, Chantal. I choose to wear a hijab, so. What a moron. Like at the end of the day, yeah, so law obviously really like wants me to wear it but like at the end of the day it's really up to me nobody can force you to do anything <laughs> i let loose in private exactly oh okay if you meant it figuratively sorry you've never heard that chantal <laughs> <laughs> sans bear no i'm not afraid of monkey pugs but, but like strawberries and cream, it's not that irrational for me to take it that way because yes, I get it that is. every day. People saying I should take my hijab off. Take that thing. People say take your hijab off because this is cosplay. It's fake. The only reason why you wear the hijab as you wear it as a girdle for your chins, number one. And number two, because you're bald to hide your head that's the only reason it's not for Allah it's not for Islam it's not for nothing it's like it's bullshit head, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's, it's offensive I've seen lots of Muslims with their hair out well yeah but uh, you're supposed to wear a hijab so they are no, supposed you're to not. wear a hijab um, I don't judge them that's up for Allah but most there are Muslims who wear the hijab, so, and you know I do, so, like, why would you say that? That's just weird to me. Yeah. Okay. No, that's fine. And, like, and, and I wonder, because I, I didn't see the chat thread, did anybody ask her, has she prayed at all since she's been in Bangkok? Because I don't believe so. I don't think she has. So has she even ever prayed in, besides that one time or twice that we've seen in Kuwait? Because during the prayer times and during the calls of prayer when she was in Kuwait, she's on here live streaming, not praying at all. <laughs> yeah, it's a choice, but it's also ordained by Allah. So no, not really. If how like, how is that know, ordained by Allah? You're supposed to wear. I don't know if that's saying. correct. I know I'm supposed to do certain things that I don't do, but <clears> I'm <throat> saying no one's perfect. Oh yeah, that building. Yeah, I've seen that with the glass floor. No way. You have to take your shoes off and put these little booties on. That's it for me. No thanks. Look <laughs> how I have to put my booties on. Ow. What are you talking I'm about? Grumpy the Grand because Canyon? I literally have a pain in my ass. <laughs> yeah. Ew. Greetings from Spain. Just breathe in and blow out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, I don't like sitting here. That's my problem. Like, if you're on. Well, I believe I'm going to end it here because she goes onto the bed and lays down and then she gets into her normal spiel of food, childhood memories, and dreams of uh, Nader. And I don't give a shit. So, anyways, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Yeah.